Hello and welcome to this very special Real Talk reading from Astrology for Life, The Ultimate Guide to Finding Wisdom in the Stars, words written by Nina Khan, background music by Insight Timer. Page 37, Moon, Queen of our Feelings, Ruler of the Night, Home Turf, cancer day of the week the moon rules mondays aka moon days which fully justifies your desire to take things slow and be gentle on yourself post weekend key concepts are emotions feelings intuition nurturing and comfort prepare to meet the second of the two bright and shiny luminaries in astrology. Although, like the first, I can guarantee you've met me before. I'm talking about the moon, astrology's gentle, emotional, nurturing mother figure. This planet is affiliated with Luna in Roman mythology, the goddess who divinely personified the moon in the sky. The moon is the ruler of the night and generally makes its presence scarce during the consciousness of daylight, only coming into full view once the skies are dark and the sun or the conscious mind has set itself to rest. Only then does this lovely luminary emerge to cast its dreamy and occasionally eerie glow over the tides of the sea. In astrology, the moon rules over similarly in shadowed realms, our deepest emotions, all our vulnerabilities, intuition, and the most private sides of ourselves. As one of the luminaries, it has significant effect on our personalities. The moon governs over our sensitive heart and the soul of our inner self. The moon feels its way through the universe down to every center of each of its molecules. It's all about feelings, our emotions, sensitivities, and what makes us feel nurtured. It's all emotion, all intuition. Unlike the powerful, self-assured sun, the moon doesn't feel any desire to run from or try to suppress its sensitivities, emotions, and vulnerable points. Instead, it wants to nurture them and create a cozy space where they can air out, heal, and feel acknowledged. This is why the moon only comes out at night in the darkness. This planet has created that cozy, safe atmosphere where these private and delicate parts can emerge and be themselves and where they won't have to hide, don't have to feel shame, and don't have to worry about the rational, ego-driven critiques of the powerful sun. Our emotional side truly does need some mothering because it is delicate and our patriarchal society is pretty rough on it, not leaving it much space to explore, process, and grow. This makes the, ru- this makes the moon's role even more significant. It's the divine feminine in all of us. Both the divine feminine and the emotional side within each of us needs coddling, cuddling, and gentle loving touch in order to feel comfortable revealing themselves to others. The moon rules a world within ourselves that favors feeling over facts, intuition over logic, and comfort over function. In this world, These more hidden parts of us can dance, sing, or cry, of course, in the safety of the dark skies. Without fear of prying eyes or ego-based judgments, 
The moon and its blanket of shadowy night provides this safe haven for these extraordinarily intimate and tender pieces of our psyche. It is the guardian and ruler of our feelings and our vulnerable side. In the quiet of the night, this luminary can be itself. It can feel its feelings and freely embrace emotional, sentimental, and maternal qualities and it can help us do the same. The moon's nature is to nurture. The Roman moon goddess, Luna, is affiliated with femininity and fertility, and the moon in astrology deals in similar themes. This planet is considered the zodiac's mother and is inherently maternal. And what do mothers do? Well, a lot of things. But one notable maternal force is the way the mothers nurture and care for others. And this is a big one for the moon. This planet is primarily focused on how we nurture, how we bring a sense of comfort to ourselves and others. When you or someone you love need an emotional pacifier, here comes the moon. This planet is the cup of hot soup delivered to your bedside when you have the flu or the security blanket when you need help sleeping on nights when your heart aches. Emotions and intuition go hand in hand with the moon's protective desire to nurture. These parts of ourselves that require protection and nurturing to feel safe. We may struggle to process our feelings if we are unable to nurture them. And we struggle to remain in touch with our intuition if we don't feel like we're in an accepting and comfortable place to do so. The shadows of the night offer us this safety and we have the gentle light of the moon to guide us. Of course, we also have a tendency to fear what lurks in the shadows, don't we? The moon's night can be a warm, validating blanket of security over our most vulnerable feelings, or it can be a thought, or it can be thought of as dark and dangerous place where monsters or other imaginary evils may hide out, waiting to launch a surprise attack. This luminary rules over the dark side of our emotions and vulnerabilities too. Sadness, heartache, insecurity, jealousy, and any heavy emotions or memories that we carry with us but feel unable to express due to shame or fear. The moon can guide our shadow work. That is, the time we spend exploring our dark and undesirable or shameful parts of our personalities. Your moon sign can point to the way in which you hide or act out. On a good day, the moon brings out the nurturing mother in us. On a bad day, the moon makes us act like a total baby in dire need of a mother to stick a bottle in our mouth. The fact that the moon is the planet closest to the earth and revolves around it illustrates its rule over the most intimate, domestic, and closely guarded parts of ourselves. It rules our private inner worlds as well as our private lives in general, which makes us sense which makes sense when you think about the emotions, feelings, and memories that go hand in hand with lunar energy. This rule over private intimate realms also extends to the concept of home and family. Our home is our safe haven, and our families are the people we can be our truest selves around, showing both the good and the less good. Like the relationship between a mother and a child, the moon is our motherly protector, keeping our emotional sides safe from harm and exploitation. Other realms that the dreamy moon rules over are things like our past. This includes our most precious memories, 
deep-rooted feelings, and the emotional growth we experience throughout our lives. The moon is often willing to indulge in pleasure and pain of a little nostalgia. Getting lost in old memories, feeling your heart flutter, or tears well up in your eyes when having an old favorite when hearing an old favorite song. These are the beautiful moments that can take place under the light and care of the moon's rulership. Your moon sign can point to the way in which you hide or act out. When thinking in terms of the purposeful sun, it may not seem like the most productive use of our time, but humans are the sum of many parts. And without these emotional, complex, private moments that take place between us and our feelings or us and our memories, we wouldn't have the rich and complex foundation on which to launch ourselves into the future. Thus, a balance must be struck. Existing only in the ego-driven spotlight of the sun's daylight or in the emotional and sensitive cocoon of the moon's night would make anyone feel imbalanced. We need time to be on and then we need time to recharge. The moon offers us that free charge refuge, but we must be aware of getting swept away in the waves of emotion and drowning in its feelings too. Because the moon is the fastest moving planet in astrology, speeding through the zodiac wheel and switching signs every two and a half days, it's incredibly adaptable. And to use a word that speaks to its watery nature, its ever-changing state makes it fluid. Think of the way in which it changes form on a nightly basis, switching zodiac signs every few days, and completes an entire run through the zodiac spectrum every month.